Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I want to show you how I track my progress and improvement as an artist and illustrator. Now, there are many different ways to do this. This is just how I do this. You can take this idea, you can build off of it, you can twist it, you can make it fit you and your art journey. So I just have a um, Archer and Olive dot journal. I love paper. I do everything in paper. But if you're more comfortable doing, you know, a notes app on your phone or Excel spreadsheets or whatever it may be, then go ahead and do that. So I'm going to look at three different categories of my art, three different mediums. I don't just stick to one medium and I don't just stick to one subject matter. So I'm going to show you how I track progress. And this is my latest sketchbook tour. So this is from November 2021. And the last half of this is from November of this year, 2022. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. This is charcoal. Now, there are going to be subtle differences. Um, for one, this is a toned paper. This is the Cappuccino book by Hannah Mula, and this is a lectern. So this book is a white paper, and this is toned. But these were both done with charcoal. So when I go to look at these, I want to look at the differences of the illustration itself. So I would say that the ones from this year are larger. So instead of me doing three small ones, I did one huge one. Instead of me doing uh, 20 minutes and doing like a half an hour or an hour a page, I did an hour and a half, sometimes half an hour, sometimes an hour and a half per page. So when I look at the differences, I'm going to look at and I'm going to notice that there is a time difference. I spent more time on these. I went with a larger value range with a lot of these illustrations. And I went with a larger size book. So this is more A5 and this is an A4. So in one year's time, I have gone larger and spent more time. So instead of quantity, I tried to go for quality a year later. So I would say as far as progress goes and improvement, I would say this was a success. Um, when it comes to tracking progress and improvement, you only compare yourself to yourself. It would be impossible to compare yourself to somebody else. That is not your journey. So when I go to make notes about charcoal, and that's what I'm going to do. I'll make some charcoal notes because I want to keep improving. So if I'm thinking about doing charcoal in 2023, I have gone larger, more time, and then quality over quantity. So I, when I look at this and I go to do this again, Next year, I want to spend even more time. I'm probably never gonna go bigger than an A4. I wouldn't have the storage for an A3. But if I say uh, 90 minutes plus, I want all my charcoals to be spent more time than the previous year, more time than the year before that. This is how I track progress and improvement, and this is how I make sure I keep improving. I want to show you another medium. Okay, this is watercolor. This is from 2021, and this is from 2022. These were the same art challenge. So these were both Drawloween. Obviously, um, there is a huge size differential. And I chose a different subject matter. This is a fur, this is a fur. I would say I spent over twice the amount of time on this one than this one. Um, 
I don't see a lot of improvement <laughs> in my style. I just don't. Um, I tried skulls for the first time. So that is something new I tried. I tried different subject matter and I went larger. I wouldn't say there is vast improvement other than I also made sure to spend more time. So while this took me a couple hours, this took me three and a half hours. Maybe you can see it and I'm too close to it, but I don't see a lot of improvement. So when I go to make my notes, and this is why I wanted to show you three different mediums. So for watercolor, um, I went larger um, and uh, just more time. So three and a half hours. I don't know that I can dedicate three and a half hours plus next year per illustration per painting, per creation, but that is in my notes. That is sort of where the bar is. I now have to figure out how to either pick different subject matter and challenge myself that way, or try a different watercolor challenge in October. I want to show you one last one. And I have some things um, tagged and saved. So these are some, I have a ton of loose floating illustrations. And what I did was I cut the ones I wanted to save and I put them in a book. So some of these are newer, some of these are older. This is from 2017. Um, I believe maybe 2018. These are some of the older birds I have illustrated. And what I did was Micron black ink and then I just splattered paint on top of it. Um, it's very distracting, but I wanted to try it. Now I am doing December this year and I want to show you bird versus bird. Not only am I not really seeing any improvement, I don't know that these are better. These may be a little bit more slapdash and a little worse. So when it comes to pen and ink illustration, I'm not improving. I have either plateaued or I need to stop creating this size. This is A6 and this is just, you know, from an A5, so this is a little bit bigger. I need to go bigger, slow down, and try a different pen and ink technique because I've stopped improving in my ink illustrations. So, <laughs> not everything can get better over time. Some things plateau and level out and some things, maybe, maybe this is more stylized. I think I need to go larger. And if I'm going to challenge myself with birds and I love doing birds and I keep doing birds, when it comes to pen and ink, I need to take way more time and I need to go larger. So, um, one of the reasons I chose an A6 size in December was because of time constraints in the holiday. But what that tells me is I shouldn't do bird challenges in December because that's my busiest month with my family. Like I just don't have the time. So for notes with pen and ink, ink as it pertains to birds, not December. This is my notes because by the time next December rolls around, I'm going to forget that <laughs> this was an issue. Um, A5 or bigger, spend more time. So where I could see improvement in charcoal and it didn't look hardly any different in watercolor, I think my ink has gotten a little bit worse. So this is how I track my progress and my improvement. And if I'm not improving, I need to make notes and figure out why that is. Is it a time thing? Is it a quality thing? What, what can I do differently to improve these things? So I hope this video helps. I hope this gave you some ideas. What you don't want to do as an artist is look at your illustration or your portrait and then compare it to a completely different person. 
to a completely different artist. Unless their art is your end goal and you're trying to figure out how to reverse engineer all the different steps and progress they took to create such an illustration or portrait, that's not how you track your progress. So please don't compare. compare comparison is it's the thief of joy. So look at what you've done and look at where you're at now. Sometimes I don't open up a sketchbook for at least six months before I go back and look at it. Sometimes it's years. And you can really see a staggering difference if you wait an entire year before you open up a sketchbook again. So I hope this helps. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.